Good morning everyone, my name is Luke and today I'll be showcasing one of the most disgusting yet fun to play split lane decks in Clash Royale. However, before we dive into some games, I would first like to guide you on the mechanics of this deck and how to play this deck as efficiently as possible. In order to be proficient in this deck, you will firstly have to understand its core basics. This deck is a bit to the heavier side, with an average elixir cost of 4.2, so it is crucial for players to bring their games to double elixir before making any aggressive plays. Also, do note that this deck requires a bit of game sense as you will need to know whether or not to defend or ignore pushes, as well as absorbing damage in order to save elixir for a counter push. This deck mainly requires the opponent to make the first play, so that you can defend with lesser elixir and proceed to pump up for value. This will usually result in the opponent punishing you with a spell or a desperation play. The decision that you will make will vary accordingly to these plays. If the opponent decides to fireball you or use a spell, you can then proceed to use a mirror to pump up again, which basically baits out his spell. In the event that the opponent rushes you with a micro push, you can always drop down a cannon in the middle. This is why it is vital for players to constantly cycle cheaper cards, such as heal spirits, in order to get a good hand. Now, let's talk about offense. In double elixir, opponents will usually drop high elixir card at the back in preparation for a large push. When this happens, feel free to punish them by dropping e buffs on the opposite lane, together with a heal spirit. You can also decide to set up a counter push by dropping 3 musketeers at the back. This is all dependent on the cards that you're playing against, so do be careful and act accordingly. When in double elixir, you are free to set up for split lane aggression. Simply do a 2-1 split with your 3 musketeers at the back, followed by a golden knight, bandit or e buffs on the bridge right in front of the musketeer. The opponent will usually be forced to pick a side to defend, which in return allows you to mirror the offensive card you just played on the other lane. Another important advice is to not place elixir pumps anymore in double elixir or over time, as the opponent will be able to punish you heavily for it. Also, if the opponent is playing hard counters such as bowlers, Pekka or Sparky, try to bait out these cards first before going all in. With that, I hope this guide will give you a bit more understanding on how the deck works and improve your future games. Also, only a small percentage of the people who watch my videos are already subscribed. So if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. It really motivates me to make more of these types of videos. I'm currently on the path of being verified as a Supercell content creator, and I require much support from you guys. So if you do find my guides helpful, do drop a follow and like the video. Now, without further ado, let's dive right into the game.
Golden
golden Hey everyone, Duke from the future here. As you can see, I have successfully managed to reach ultimate champion with a 74% win rate and close to a 1800 rating. However, by the time this video is out, the season has already reset. I did manage to finish in the top 10,000 this season, barely making it with just 2089 rating. 
I would like to apologize about the late upload, as over the last few weeks I have really been busy serving the army. With that aside, I would like to assure you that this deck is still highly effective in ranked play and has not been nerfed at all. I do suggest that everyone give this deck a try and let me know how you fared down in the comments, as well as what deck you would like me to try next. If not, I thank you all for watching this video, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.